Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and this is a video response to Tommy D. Messino's Massimo's uh, flag protest at Wright State University, which I presume is in Dayton, Ohio. Uh, this guy's not the sharpest tool in the toolbox. Yeah, here we are, uh, this is in Dayton, Ohio, Wright State University, and apparently it's full, packed full of leftist pink Okami cry bullies, which is nothing new. This is a term that's come up in, uh, conservative media. They're called cry bullies because they cry about everything and they're meaner in hell. Some people call it a phenomenon, but it's nothing new. It's standard tactics of the left. I'm going to try to show these uh, protesters standing on the flag, which uh, basically doesn't sit well with a lot of us old guard types. Hang on. Alright, uh, here we have him just casually dragging Old Glory on the ground. And that'll get us patriotic types madder than hell uh, right on the spot. You don't drag the flag on the ground. That's actually, I believe that's a misdemeanor. I don't have to check. But it's disrespectful at the very least. Disgusting. And I'm hard. Not my flag. Here you go. Uh, hashtag not my flag. I don't do a great deal with social media. I know more or less what that means. It's Twitter. I'm on Twitter. I do something with it, but just not much. I haven't visited that. So we'll proceed. Okay, I've muted the sound to show a couple of things, and I'm just going to play it. There's a couple of stills. There's one dirt bag. There's another dirt bag. They're walking on the flag. We've seen this all before. Uh, this guy is probably ISIS. That's not confirmed. It's definitely a leftist pink Okami dirt bag. I mean, they're laying the flag out right here on the ground and stepping on it. That's enough to cause us old guard people to get furious. I don't need to see anything more. Now, I'm going to have a little discussion here. Uh, Trump isn't safe and neither is Cruz. These leftist pinko commies like this are growing in, they're growing more and more, word is bellicose. It means very aggressive, warlike, angry. They're cry bullies. Look how this one punk here in this uh, frame is dressed. He's dressed in... Big fancy coat, backpack, you know, they have fancy boots, and then they're complaining about how bad things they have it here in America. Well, screw you. Fuck you and the horse you rode in on. That's the way I see it. Why don't you punks concentrate on getting an education instead of causing trouble? Now, I said before, Trump isn't the perfect person, but... I, I think he's the one that we need. And I've learned some things about Ted Cruz that make me very leery about uh, voting for Ted Cruz. As I said in a previous video, he is in an, a religious cult called the Dominionists, and they're bad news. For one thing, they want to execute homosexuals. And while I think homosexuality is wrong, I certainly don't want to execute anybody 
for practicing it. As long as they keep it in the home and they don't cause problems for children or something like that. Or, and, you know, they keep it themselves. I'm okay with it. I think it's wrong, but that's for the preacher to deal with, really, not me. But I don't want to get off on that subject, but the point is that Cruz is bad news. Quite possibly. They're going after Trump because Trump's top dog. They would go after Cruz if he was top dog. Make no mistake, they're going to go after any Republican. I'm just afraid these people are getting more and more violent all the time. These are violent, pinko commie scum on campus. I have no other way to put it. And there's a bit, there's the veterans uh, opposing them. They had some choice words to say to them. So they squared off. This is actually a well-known protest there in, what do you call it, uh, Dayton. So there you go. There you go, you yeah, have the right versus the left. And veterans are talking about all the people who died in Vietnam and how these uh, scumbags are stepping on the flag. Well, I agree with the veterans. These these kids have been indoctrinated by these leftist universities. They're supposed to be teaching them, not indoctrinating them. And it's just getting worse with time. I've seen this before. This is a communist revolution in progress. It can only lead to a wrecked economy and little, if any, freedom. That's what it'll lead to if they're allowed to succeed. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.